I think there's 44 pictures in the uh, exhibition as a whole, uh, and it's a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, a jigsaw puzzle uh, of photographs that show uh, all of our global problems, and, and it's held together, of course, by Bob Dylan's lyric, A, a Hard Rains Are Gonna Fall. And I just was amazed by the lines of this lyric, and I decided to illustrate each of them. And over the years, I did so, and here we are at the MMU Manchester uh, version of this uh, exhibition, which has now been shown all around the world. Now, the, the, Dylan's words uh, reinterpreted with pictures uh, of all of our global problems um, really look at uh, climate change. Climate change is not a single issue. We, we have to tackle all of our global problems. Poverty, uh, population expansion, the waste or use of resources uh, in our world, habitat loss, species extinction, all of these are issues that feed into climate change. And of course, climate change is, is the, the summation of our problem. So we, we really have to move now to action. And we hope that hard rain is going to help put pressure on governments through people who look at it to take that, that action in favor of the future. You know, I urge people to, to act, uh, to write letters, uh, act in your own lives um, to reduce your carbon footprint, but also uh, write to governments, write to your MP, write to the prime ministers. Um, uh, and, and they need those letters to uh, a cabinet to take the kind of action that's needed. Photographs are always a shadow of the past, but they can also be the ghost of a future. If we go on, if we don't deal with climate change, if we go on heating the atmosphere, uh, sea levels will rise. It would take only a one meter sea level rise for 20 million people in India and Bangladesh alone to be streaming back across the border looking for, for new places to live. Now, th th there really isn't anywhere for people to live on that kind of a scale. We, we just have got to get governments to tackle these problems. Another very important problem that we all have to deal with, and one that we're going to hear a lot more about next year, is habitat loss. This is uh, habitat loss driven by poverty, actually. It's in Haiti, where people are, are, are forced to cut down uh, forests to turn the, the wood into charcoal for cooking fuel. But we in the rich world are also doing the same thing uh, when we buy unsustainably sourced timber and paper, stationery and so on. So there really has to be much stronger rules that are dealing with uh, uh, the uh, way in which companies exploit habitats so that they do so sustainably. And many big companies or some big companies are, are really making an effort. We, we need to support those companies in the, with the products that we buy. One of the questions that this exhibition raises is, is for those of us who live in the rich world, we may not be rich, but uh, and if you're students you won't be, but we nevertheless live in a world which is extremely affluent compared to the global average. One of the questions that, that, that we're forced to ask is can we live better with less? Um, so that's one thing that we all of us need to really give some thought to. Uh, and then secondly, what action, okay, we've talked a little bit about some of the things that, that, that you can do in your own lives um, uh, in direct response to the, the challenges that we face. Uh, but, you know, we're not going to do it unless we really get governments on side. You've got to write to governments, you've got to protest, you, you've got to draw attention, you've got to give governments a constituency so that they can act in favour of the future. And I spent 40 years travelling around the world at the sharp end of, of the environmental debate. And, you know, what, what I see are the problems joined together. I see the effect of all of these problems in the world. Uh, and what it's left me with is, is a sense of, of urgency to act. And that's reflected, I think, in, the, um, in this exhibition in Hard Rain. After MMU, uh, the exhibition goes to uh, Copenhagen for the climate um, conference out there where heads of state are going to try and hammer out, uh, well we hope more than just agreements, um, a real treaty that, that commits governments to real action. Now, you know, we knew the problem in 1980, we knew the scale of the problem and we've been talking about it ever since. We're running out of time according to the best scientific uh, uh, consensus. It's clear that MMU have got a very, very uh, uh, impressive 
program. And, and it's not just some theoretical idea about bringing uh, CO2 emissions down. They're really bringing CO2 emissions down. And they've only started, what, in the last year, I think. Um, you know, universities, you know, they're like small cities. They, they have an enormous impact. Um, and also, the people in universities, uh, many of them are, are at the cutting edge of research, uh, looking at essentially how to reinvent the modern world so that it's compatible with nature. Um, so it's great that this exhibition has come on here. I'm, I'm really very pleased about that.